Hi guys, this is Shiva. Welcome to Trademark. Today's our topic is Relative Strength Index RSI. Let's see quick basics. RSI developed by J. Wells Wilder. RSI is a momentum oscillator that measures speed and change in a price moments. In previous video, I gave that example speedometer. It's like we have speedometer in the car. It's RSI is the speedometer in the market. Not only RSI, every momentum indicator tells us. We just need to understand. In previous video, I said that in momentum indicator, why I select oscillator, how to select oscillator, which indicator works perfectly, perfectly in the market, why we need indicators help and how many indicators we need. Everything I explained very clearly. Don't miss that video. Okay, this is how RSI will be calculated. We don't want to go deep in these calculations. Just assume that there is one formula behind this RSI oscillator. People are understood about RSI in different methods. So, they are using RSI in different different formats and I will give clarity about it. Relative strength index. This word says that strength. Obviously, RSI indicates strength only. Okay, which strength it is? Of course, it is price strength. RSI indicates the price strength. It tells us whether the market is going speed or slow or medium. So, RSI is a momentum oscillator. It study the price and tells the strength in the price. So, RSI is directly proportional to the price. Means, if price moves towards upside, the RSI also moves upside. If price is falling downside, the RSI also fall downside. Let's see how to apply RSI in chart. Open trading view software. We can get RSI in any trading software. I select trading view. Click indicators and type RSI. Then click on to RSI. After that, chart looks like this. It looks like ECG. Okay. In right side, scale we have 0, 20, 40 till it goes to 100 level because RSI is banded oscillator. This line is RSI line. Let's go to setting. Inputs don't change anything from it. Length is 14 default because the person who invented Wiles Wilder, he tried and tested and confirmed that it is default setting for all softwares. I also using same 14 only. No changes in that. In style, select RSI color. I will select aqua. Whichever color you like, you can select. No need RSI banded, RSI banded moving average. No need upper Bullinger band. Also no need lower Bullinger band. When I started using RSI in few years back, it did not have too many options. Now these guys are making little complicated. We don't want complicated one. We need simple RSI. In upper band, I will select green color. It shows 70. Change it as 60. And select straight line. Next, RSI middle band, 50. No changes in that. RSI lower band, it shows 30, change it as 40, select straight line and red in color. Next, I don't need any background fill, if you like, you can add it, Bollinger band, background fill not needed, no changes in visibility. Next, go to chart, now RSI looks like this, why am I selecting 40, 60? Why not 70-30? Because I backtested both almost 2 years. Finally, I selected 60-40. It's very good and it works very well. And mainly my guru also suggested 60-40. So, I continues that only. And this 60-40 indicates 3 trends. Uptrend, sideways trend and downtrend. How? Let's see in further steps. Okay. Let's come to main topic. When RSI moving towards upside, 
the price also moving upside. That means does price follows RSI? No, always RSI follows price. I said few seconds back, RSI is directly proportional to the price. When price of the share decreases, the RSI also decreases. Okay, then in which zone and how to know the strength of the bulls and bears? Let us see. When RSI cross 60 zone, it indicates that increasing strength in the price towards upside. It says gaining strength of the bulls. When RSI fall below 40 zone, it indicates that increasing strength towards downside, strength of the bears. From mid band 50 to 60 zone, it indicates bulls are taking risk, means market is in sideways. Next, same mid band from 50 to 40 zone, it indicates bears are taking risk, means market is in sideways. This 50, 60 and 50, 40 zone concept can't find in any books or in any webinar because this concept invented me only. Okay, now I will show very important method that is how to use RSI. First, we need to draw support and resistance. Support and resistance levels. Important topic, listen carefully. What I said before, when RSI cross above 60 level, that means bulls are in control, means we should be in buy side. This is rule number one. Rule number one says, when RSI cross 60, we will take entry. Rule number two is, price should also behave like RSI. Behave like RSI means, when RSI breaks important level 60, with price also breaks important resistance, important resistance level. This is double confirmation. Same format applies in bearish side. When RSI fall below 40, with price also breaks important support, means we will take entry in short side. And one more very important point, never use RSI alone for confirmation. After knowing this concept, do not go and buy and sell immediately. Now we got two confirmations from price and momentum. Next further classes, I will make video on volume. Then we take confirmation of price momentum with volume. It becomes triple confirmation. Further classes, we will learn about volatility indicator. Then it becomes four confirmations. Like that, nine to ten confirmations we need. Then only we need to take entry. Don't be in hurry. Huh? I will show some examples here that RSI cross 60. Here, RSI cross 60, but price did not cross. Price did not cross important level. Next, here RSI cross 60 and price also cross important level. Means picked momentum, gaining strength. This is how we need to identify momentum. Same example applies in bearish side. RSI breaks 40, but price did not cross important level. Next here, RSI cross 40 and price also breaks important level. It indicates strength towards bearish, strength towards downside. Okay, next let us see how to identify range shift in RSI. We know this is an uptrend. How do you know this is an uptrend? By connecting and comparing swing highs and swing lows. Look here, price is making higher tops and higher bottom. Next, it makes higher top with lower bottom. It indicates strength is shifting. It indicates trend is shifting. In RSI, when price moving above 60, taking support at 60, bouncing towards upside. It indicates bullish sign from above 60 to when it came down and taking 60 as a resistance. Same 60 level act as a support and same 60 level act as a resistance at this point. Then it indicates the sign of range shift from bullish side to sideways. From bullish trend to sideways trend, it shifted. Same thing applies in bearish side. When RSI moving below 40 level, by taking resistance at 40 and moving downside, it indicates bearish sign. When RSI cross above 40 and took support at 40 level, then this point we call it as range shift from bearish to sideways, sideways trend. In further classes, I will explain much deeper into range shift and divergence. And one more important point, this 60-40 rule applies in every time frame. 15 minutes or 1 hour or 4 hours 
or daily or monthly everything will be same if rsi above 60 on monthly chart then long term trend is upside if weekly rsi above 60 medium trend is up if daily rsi is above 60 short term trend is upside same thing applies in intraday same concept same chart same trend okay it's time up and uh, by watching videos nothing will improve you need to back test back test and back test if you back test more your confidence will increase more if you don't like rsi or it does not suits you no problem whatever indicators you like select it learn learn deeply learn deeply into that back test then apply okay good to see you in next video jai hind